Hey guys, so recently I posted a video on one of my tractors. I made a really heavy duty exhaust shield to protect the low hung exhaust from getting damaged by obstacles when you're mowing. Um, and some people out there commented, hey, that's a pretty dumb move. That thing's gonna collect a bunch of, you know, hay chaff, it's gonna collect a bunch of dust. You know, whenever you're out there mowing, you get grass and seed flying around everywhere. That's a fire hazard. You know, and I got thinking that everyone who said that was right, that is indeed a fire hazard. But as I got thinking, I realized that a lot of people do not have fire extinguishers on their tractor, especially you know, old tractors like this. You know, they're just, they're old. They're gonna have electrical issues, you know, or heat issues, you know, every tractor could be potentially a fire hazard. So I was thinking, why aren't tractors factory equipped with fire extinguishers? You know, what's a good BC chemical fire extinguisher, you know? 30 bucks, you know, I'd say that's well worth the investment if it means protecting your old tractor from certain demise, especially once these tires start burning. You know, they'll burn for hours once those rubber tires get in, inflamed. So anyway, long story short, I just, I wanted to make a point out there because there's so many tractors that I see, and I see a lot of tractors, guys. A lot of tractors do not have an onboard fire extinguisher. And I'm just hoping that this video may influence some people out there to go down a you know Walmart or Tractor Supply or one of these places and just pick up a cheap BC chemical fire extinguisher and put it on their old tractor. Ace Hardware, Pep Boys, AutoZone, Napa, CarQuest. I don't know what you guys have in your area, but I'm sure there's a store somewhere that sells a decent fire extinguisher. Now, one thing that I do not understand is I go you know tractor shopping a lot. I look around at the implements. I look around at you know the tractors and Daydream and look at all the cool new toys that are out there anyway i look at you know john deere Kubota. those are two big ones in the area you know whether you got case mahindra new holland who knows but one thing they all have in common is that i don't think i've seen a new tractor yet with a fire extinguisher equipped from the factory and i don't know why like it blows my mind you go on youtube or google and you can punch in tractor fire and you'll see literally countless images or videos of tractors engulfed in flame i mean it 30 bucks, I mean, why not? I've got like a 1996 Polaris, uh, Joel Jet Ski, a 780, and that's got a built-in fire extinguisher. You open up the front hood and there's a little hole in there and fire extinguisher slides out. I mean, why hasn't the tractor world caught on yet? I don't get it. I mean, I think someone out there with a mine manufacturing tractors could get some good brownie points by strapping a $30 fire extinguisher on board. You know, it may save some people some troubles in the future, and I certainly enjoy having a fire extinguisher, so I'm going to put one on my old tractor. All right, one thing every tractor should have on it is a good fire extinguisher. So I'm going to find a place to put this on the tractor just so I'll have a little bit of extra protection when I'm out there mowing, especially with this really, really dry hay chaff and seed, and a lot of these, a lot of these things that you're mowing down are pretty darn dry, and that stuff goes airborne, and... I'm worried about the exhaust primarily with this tractor because it's so low. Especially with this channel that I made around the exhaust, I'm thinking that's going to pack full of stuff. So anyway, long story short, we'll get this uh, fire extinguisher put on there. I like these kiddies. These are pretty cheap, you know, and they're DOT rated BC chemical. So that's small. That ought to do a good job. In case I ever really need it. You know, if I need more than that, well, <laughs> that's better than nothing, I guess. These are kind of cheesy, these plastic little straps. They used to have nice metal ones back in the day. Well, anyway, I think that's a decent spot for it. If that thing gets smashed off by a 
alder or a tree or something like that. Hopefully I can see it before I run over it with a bush hog. That would be nice. That would definitely wake you up. I've never ran over a fire extinguisher with a bush hog, but I'd imagine it would be a pretty loud and messy kind of explosion. Hopefully we don't have to find out. The primary reason for the fire extinguisher is to save the tractor. You know, obviously if you have a field fire, this thing is, is a joke for a field fire. You're gonna need, you know, <laughs> you need to call the fire department for something like that. But anyway, just to save the tractor, you know, if there was ever an event where, uh, you know, a bunch of hay chaff and uh, dry seed and stuff got into this exhaust shield, that could potentially be a fire hazard. Or, you know, maybe an oil leak or an electrical problem. You never really know with these old tractors. So it's nice just to have a little peace of mind. Hopefully that'll help if you ever do need. I'm not saying that a fire extinguisher is gonna put out every fire and that it's gonna be perfect in every situation. No, obviously there's outliers to that situation. You know, there's gonna be times when a fire extinguisher just won't be enough. But I'd say for the vast majority of fires, if you can put them out before they get worse, hey, what more do you want? I'd say that's the best thing you could have available to you if you're in the middle of nowhere and you've got a fire started. So do your safe, hmm, do yourself a favor. Go buy yourself a fire extinguisher, because, you know, all the cool people are doing it. You know you want to.